Hello, hello everybody. I want to start vlogging or follow me around with you so you can see what I'm doing because I see that there's a lot of activity and fun on Facebook and Instagram and you're so happy with me that I have just started a new life in a new world with my husband. He's here but I won't film him. And there you see the beach, the beach. So we are right here on the beach. It's our second day. We just arrived yesterday and I still can't believe um, that this is now our life. So this is how we will be living. Of course, we won't be lying on the beach the entire time, but um, it's warm. It's 27 degrees. Yesterday it was 32 Celsius and it's warm and it's October. It's the 14th of October, so and there will be no winter for us. It will be this. Look, let's see, it's so beautiful. Hello, I'm in my flat now and I have forgotten, it's now the third day, to show you our beautiful flat. Look, this is our beautiful flat and I won't show you a corner so where my husband is sitting because he's still a little bit shy, he doesn't want to be on video, on YouTube at least, so I don't show you how, <laughs> how it is and now here you can see our kitchen and we have a cock road, so right now uh, there will be people coming who are who will be finding the cock road, <laughs> and it's a giant. It's like, do you see this? It's big. It's like this, and it's sitting here inside this cabinet. Look at this view. This is the view. Isn't it amazing? This is the view and this is bad weather. So it was raining today. Rainy, bad weather. And yes, yes, and this is it. And I'm super happy to be here. And we have a pool. We even have a pool on the roof. We have a pool with this view. Like we have, it's a green lawn and um, beautiful palm trees and everything and this view and you need a car when you live here in this area and we will see because we have this amazing flat and it's just it's just amazing but we also want to live on the beach so we will see so we can walk to the beach like yesterday we were running to the beach i think it was um i never have a timer or anything because i want to focus on my feeling and my body when I'm running, so I don't know. Hello, today is a rainy day and it's the third rainy day. Most of the time it's not raining all the time, but it's very hot and sunny and then it's raining. Look how it looks when it's a rainy day. In the Canaries and we're here now for the eighth day I still haven't shown you the pool or taken you out on the road with me. Let's see if you are even interested in seeing videos like this and uh, following me around. So if you want to see more, just like this video, tell me in the comments and then I will know if it's really worth all the work because I like living life and I always forget to film and making pictures for Instagram is already something I think of but um, videos is just more more work yes so it's the eighth day yesterday one week before yesterday we came and it's very exciting and 
super interesting here. We still don't have internet. We have just internet at the pool. <laughs> so we're working at the pool until our batteries uh, die and then we um, just stop and go to the beach or whatever. <laughs> Uh, so we have a lot of good excuses. If you are interested to know what I'm working on here, tell me in the comments. If you want to know why I'm here any, at all, just tell me in the comments and I will tell you everything. Yes, and I will tell you some things that I find very remarkable. This Spain and Canaries are very service oriented. So you get like when, when you're shopping you can get your food delivered if you buy over 60 euros then people just come into your home and bring all the stuff that you have bought and i think like two-thirds of the people also do it that's why it takes a long time with all the shopping because when you're standing on the counter they pack it all and they put it into boxes and then yeah then basically you have to be home so i don't know how the people do it uh, if they stay at home all the time anyway, if they have always somebody of the family at home or if they all have maids, <laughs> I don't know. So we have done it just one time because I just don't want to stay at home and wait for the delivery people to deliver. So still something to figure out. Yes, and then we had the cockroach at home. So... <laughs> My husband is laughing because so we had one cockroach and then uh, two men came to extinct it and to disinfect our home and uh, Yes, sadly the cockroaches have to die. They can't live in our home with us and we will do everything to prevent them to come into our home naturally so we're we have a very clean home anyway, but also we didn't have a proper waste basket yes we just had like a normal waste basket but now we will buy one that is also when you close it there is no possibility to get into it so the smells can't get out and the cockroaches won't come home because when they come in our home now they will die because we have um what is gift poison so we have poisoned our home totally by the cockroach extinction extinction company they poisoned everything and we have found two cockroaches who were a little bit like tired and nearly dead and then they were coming onto the floor and dying very very slow dead it was a little bit sad and then we captured them under a glass and uh, put them into the toilet so it's very sad to see a creature die and that's why I, I somehow I like them now because I have witnessed them die. Yes, live or let live, let live. Okay. I can't let everybody live. It's very, it's a very, my husband is laughing, but it's really sad. It's sad that when, when you see animals dying always and the bigger they are, the more sad it is because then the, the, you're more connected to them yes so we had two two cockroaches who had somehow managed to be in the home i don't know how they came in maybe because we got the washing machine installed maybe through this hole that opened there and now we have closed it cockroach story over so actually it's not uh, like you have to deal with the cockroaches you can also make your home cockroach safe and all our windows have um, not this the big ones not but uh, the small ones in the sleeping room and bathroom they are oops camera hello camera is here uh, are they have like a net to prevent anything to come in so this was the cockroach story. Hello, today is a gloomy day here in Las Palmas. We are still in our flat and this is our kitchen set. And we are filming something super cool. Hopefully, no, I think very cool for the teacher training. 
Essence of Belly Dance Teacher Training. And this is now our fourth week already in Las Palmas. And as you see, we're quite far from the beach. So we will leave our beautiful apartment here. We will miss the view for sure. And we will uh, move into a beautiful house that is also a little bit bigger and it's closer to the beach. So we can, like here, we, we were running because we are barefoot runners and we were running through the city down to the ocean and then around the shore and back again home because I love, uh, oops, this is my finger again. I love to start running right from home. I don't want to drive somewhere and then run there. I want to be just free. Just, just put my clothes on and run. So then we will be running on the beach. So we will have two beaches near our home and we don't have so such an amazing view, but it's also okay. So we can see the sunset from the balcony and it will be nice. And yes, yeah, so how was it here? Um, we were also not sure if we really want to stay here for longer because I was actually wanderlusty and was thinking about starting traveling more. But then we had a very cool idea of producing something and now we're working on it. So we're producing something interesting. Secret, secret. And we need some white space and a place to be and we will travel from here. So we will rent a car and then we can go on ferries and we can fly everywhere. But we will have a home base for six months aside of our home base in Berlin that we have rented out. Um, and then from there we can do go everywhere because we have a big computer with a big screen and uh, and a big trunk so like a really powerful computer for cutting the videos and we got it here shipped um, via mail and yeah it's not it's not really cool so I would prefer just us and our two laptops but they are not the best for uh, cutting videos and I want to make videos so this is it and Yes, that's why we're, we're not so, we're not as free as we could be. But I think there is a possibility um, of getting the computer a little bit smaller. But the screen, maybe just only cutting in co-working spaces. I don't know, I'm not a big co-working space goer, but I have been. I have had a co-working space when we started architecture. We were in an old factory with I think 20 or 30 architecture students and we had a lot of fun working on projects and we were living there. So this is also where I have met my husband when we started architecture together and it was very romantic. We were there every day, every night and doing everything there. Like working hard, partying hard, like our entire, it was our living room and everything. So I had times where I liked this, but now I like privacy. I just like to be at home and work on my stuff whenever I like it and uh, not to go to an office or something. This is just how I feel now. So let's see. What do you, <laughs> what do you think? What, what would you do? And what do you think about traveling and everything? I also want to know what you think. So excited. Mm. See you.